Hello guys and welcome back to Comment and it's time for the second part in this tutorial series about how to create a working inventory system. And we are going to start today with creating uh, two functions, or actually that's all we're going to do. And the first function is when we just got a bunch of variables and we're just going to combine it um, into a new inventory item. So public void add item. And we just have to bunch variables. So first, of course, the ID of the slot. I think that's very logical. We got an item because we need to know about which item it is about. Int count and int health. Um, I mean float health. So now we've got like all the variables. That's also when you've got um, an item inventory class or whatever you would call it. And we only need this to actually copy everything and create a new uh, inventory. So whenever you have a new item laying on the ground, which you crap or whatever, you can just call this function and just fill in all the variables, of course, and it will be all right. Um, so we start with, an, with items and um, just copy this because we need it a few times. And the ID, so that's the ID of the item, which we are going to do, is of course the same as item.id. I think that's very logical. Um, then, of course, the health is the same as health. And the count is the same as count. Then we need to actually set the sprite. So, like, we see an image. You don't want to have that in an uh, inventory system. I think that's very logical. Um, so what we're going to do is just say that from the items uh, .id, the item came object. So that's the UE uh, button we got inside our inventory screen. And from that, we want to get a component image. So that's the um, where we can change the sprite. And from that, the variable sprite, whoops. So this means we currently have access or this part is actually just the image you see and we're just going to say it's exactly the same as item.image so now we've got that and now we need to do that we want to add a count or like a number in the right down corner where we're just going to say well there is one of this or two or three or four or whatever but normally you one don't want to show one if just one you know everyone knows if there's an image of a sword there is already a sword so why why would you add a number one in there so that's why we are going to check if you actually want to add it so if the count is more than one then we are going to do it and also um we are going to do it if the items item dot id isn't zero so this is something that i didn't explain yet but the very first item we're going to put in the database is an item called empty that's just when there is nothing uh, we are going to create a certain item for it so it's easier for the system um, and you always know that the very first item is empty so we can very easily calculate with it and do things with it for example within this if loop and now we are going to say that um, within the items, or we can just copy it, the item came object, and from that get component in children, because I put in only have one child, and that is a text object. And from that, we want to have the text, of course. And from that, we want to have the variable text, which is actually the string you see. And from that, we just want to say that's the same as count, but that's an int. And an int, you cannot have an int um, with, as a string. You cannot say um, a string is the same as an int. Um, so we need to change it towards a string. So we're just going to put to string. And now it will just convert that int towards a string and we can just show it. Of course, if, well, there isn't, uh, there is, less than one or it is empty we don't want to show actually 
well this text object so what we're going to say is just it is nothing so because it's empty so there's just nothing you we won't see it so it doesn't matter um, the second function we're just going to copy this all and we're just going to paste this and we are just going to um, I'm very sorry we are just going to uh, change this name towards add inventory item and this is when you actually want to copy an inventory item from one slot to another and we are going to discuss that uh, probably next time and here is where we are just going to change we still need the ID of course but we're just going to remove all those variables and just that one variable instead and that's item inventory called inventory item so now we just got all the variables still the same but we, the only thing we need to do is just copy this one and just say the id is the same as this id that's very logical um, the health is just the same as the health in this one the count is the same as the count in this one and so we can just change everything um, that's not very hard i think um, the only thing that's a little bit hard is this part so we got an inventory item within here we know the id so what we're going to do is going towards data sorry let's just remove everything going towards database um did we already create a link towards it no we didn't so we're just going to create a public database called data so this is a link towards our database with all our items within it. So what we are going to do is we're going towards here and we're just going to say we got data. And from that, we want to have the items. So we've got there a list within this script with all the items. Now we're just going to say we know which ID it is because from this item inventory, so we're just going to do inventory item dot id and then we just got the right item i think it's very logical if you guys don't understand it just ask in the comment section and i will try to explain it and from here we're going towards image and now we copy this and everything would work um, also just copy this and paste it here um, for the same reason so actually this was everything we we're going to do today um, it doesn't look like much this is the core of the system uh, almost so this is like the part where all the copying is going towards and everything else also within this uh, playlist that's about this tutorial series there will be added um, another video that i made two weeks ago about moving um, an ue image and we need to use that because um, we are going to create that whenever you are selecting a slot and moving it towards another slot an image will follow you so you also need to follow that tutorial series so you understand that and we can just copy paste it within this script and just go on working and things like that so i hope you guys liked it if you did please leave a like or subscribe that would really much appreciate it and i'll see you guys next week with the next part of this tutorial and uh, happy christmas